<laughs> What's going on, Nabooers? Everybody loves a new slideshow, but how cool would it be if you can add your own photos? Jump over to the naboo.ca website and click on software. This is a list of all the software that I've created for the Naboo. It's a long one. Don't worry. If you scroll down, you're going to find a slideshow you, slide you. And it has a file here you need to download and some instructions. So let's download the file, convert 99918. And we'll open that up here and throw it in a folder. So as the instructions state, um, we need to load the program and then we load our image into the program, into this convert program. We'll press save and then we'll change the, uh, the file to an SC2 file. And we're gonna throw it inside of a slideshow folder inside of Retronet. So here's our program. And let me grab an image to throw in there. I typed in random photo in Google and these are the worst <laughs> random photos ever. They are definitely random, but they're just terrible. Like, what is this thing? Oh my God, I can't use any of this. Okay, this is better. <laughs> I could save this image to my desktop and drag it into the um, converter, but something that's kind of neat you can do is if you load up snipping tool in Windows and do a rectangle cut, then what you could do is you can snip an area of the screen. And when you do so, it'll automatically paste it into the uh, converter. So by default, the converter's not very pretty because you can select the different um, error distribution methods here. So none is gonna give you something looking like this, but if I click on, say, uh, Floyd Stoin, <laughs> and then I click on Reload, there we go, we got a much better photo. Now we can adjust our luminance, our gamma, there's other adjustments here we can do. There's also Atkins, At Atkinson, 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 Atkinson. So we'll reload with that one and see if there's any difference. I find this one to be a little grainier, so we're gonna go back to Floyd. I'm gonna click save pick. And we're gonna throw this photo inside of our RetroNet store folder. You can find your RetroNet store folder by clicking on settings in the internet adapter. Go to RetroNet and choose your local file store folder location here. And that's what we're gonna to have to go to. So that's gonna be under documents for me, network adapter, boom. Inside of here, we want to create a new folder called Slideshow. If you're on Mac or uh, Linux, you're going to want it to be all caps. And then the file name we're going to choose is going to be an MSX S2 file. And I'm just going to call this Beach. Let's throw another picture in here so at least we have two. You can see I'm dreaming about summer, aren't I? <laughs> All these summer beach picks I'm choosing. Shovel. Now when I look inside of my slideshow folder in the RetroNet folder, I have some two files in there. Perfect. Boot up Cloud CPM. User area one, and it's called Slide U because it's a slideshow for you. You can see here two images were discovered. And there's our slideshow. Well, there you have it. You can add your own images to slideshow and I'm gonna browse some of these beach pics and get ready for the summer because I still have snow outside. See you in the next video.